Hi my beautiful lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a celebrity inspired makeup look and I'm kind of loving simplicity at the moment when it comes to makeup. So when I saw this particular look of Dakota Johnson, I totally fell in love. So I thought I would recreate the exact makeup, hair, jewelry and everything. So if you would like to see how I did this makeup look, then please keep watching. But before we do that, just take a moment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and the button is just down there. So let's get started. First, I'm going to moisturize my skin for that. I'm using L'Oreal Paris Radiant Serum. I have been using this restoring serum for a while now. Actually, this serum is designed for mature dull skin, but I love to apply this underneath my makeup because it has this medium consistency with a silky smooth texture and the velvety smooth serum absorbs into my skin very easily and is not at all greasy or sticky so I don't have to wait any longer than I usually do before applying any makeup. And then I quickly moisturize my lips before taking Maybelline Master Prime Primer on back of my hand and because her skin is so glowy and dewy, I'm taking JCAT Aura Glow Liquid Highlighter in the shade White Goddess as well and I'm dotting this on to the main areas of my face and then I'm blending both the Maybelline Primer and Liquid Highlighter onto my skin seamlessly and it gives such a nice glow without looking glittery or anything like that and this primer worked pretty well for my skin type and it creates a smooth canvas for makeup as well and primer is really important for me or for you because it smooths the texture and dryness and fills the pores and that way your makeup looks less cakey and more clean and JCAT White Goddess Highlighter is a bomb but you need a tiniest amount onto the areas you need or just mix it with your foundation to blend it well. Just try it out. It looks beautiful on the skin but little goes a very very long way. And then for the foundation, I'm taking the concoction of NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation in the shade Vanilla and I'm mixing tiniest bit of the Body Shop Insta Glow CC Cream in the shade Peachy Glow to make the base look more natural and skin-like and teeny tiny bit of NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade Golden Caramel just to warm up the skin a little more and make it look more healthy. And I mixed all the products together and I'm applying that to my skin with the help of a beauty blender and it's just a beautiful match for my skin tone and looks like my skin but better. And you can also build up the coverage as you like because these are all extremely full coverage but Dakota's skin is so natural in this look so I'm keeping it simple that way and I'm using this foundation's mixture just to cover my imperfections. That's it. And then for concealer, I'm taking MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC35 and I'm applying very little amount underneath my eyes to cover my backs and very little onto my eyelids as well. And that's it. I'm not going too overboard with this because she kept her base makeup very minimal, DV and skin-like. And I'm blending that well with my damp beauty blender. And this, I think I have been using this for like six or seven years now and I'm not going to stop using this no matter what concealers attract me because this concealer is irreplaceable. It's just that good. And then to set the base makeup in place, I'm taking Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Powder in the shade Creamy Natural and I'm bouncing that very lightly onto my skin with my Beauty Blender. This way it mattifies the skin and keeps the shine peeking through without making it look oily. It really gives a flawless silky smooth finish and covers flaws and pores very well and this powder is the ultimate lightweight setting powder for a smooth matte complexion that stays flawless all day now moving on to the eyes this look is all about eyes it's so glittery at the same time wearable as well so first i'm taking wishful and wink from Violet was Olive You Forever eyeshadow palette and I'm dusting both colors onto my whole eyelids to set the concealer and also to make the other colors blend smoothly and easily without settling chalky or chunky if that makes sense and this makeup has burgundy undertone to it so I'm using burgundy undertones colors to achieve this look 
and then i'm taking this gorgeous eyeshadow in the shade ripened from mac and i'm applying that to my crease as a subtle transition color this is a beautiful matte color and is incredibly soft and creamy texture but stays all day without creasing and this particular ripened color is a great shade and is highly highly pigmented and as you can see i'm slowly building up the color to make it look intense and i'm also running that along my lower lash lines just to balance out the eyes and make it look as neat as dakotas and then i'm taking l'oreal paris infallible longwear eye pencil in the shade aubergine and i'm lining that all over my eyelids and along my lower lash lines as a base and this is a beautiful soft burgundy toned color and it is completely matte and goes on very smoothly but you have to prime your eyelids before using this because it goes quite chunky if you don't apply a smooth base underneath and then i'm smudging that out with a brush to make it look nice and smoky and this acts as a nice base for the glitter shade to stick which i'm going to use very soon and then for that gorgeous glitter eyelid color i'm taking this beautiful beautiful sparkly eyeshadow in the shade wild and free from dose of colors and i'm pressing that color onto my eyelids very carefully with a flat eyeshadow brush and it doesn't have any fallouts and is very very creamy so don't worry that's not going to ruin your base makeup or concealer and i present you one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas ever from dose of colors these single eyeshadows are so beautiful so sparkly and pigmented that camera doesn't even do them any justice it is a brownish gold foil with burgundy gold sparkles in it and it applies so beautifully with a dry brush or finger on your lids that you don't even need a setting spray to intensify it and actually there is both good and bad about this product first off these are exceptionally creamy and easy to apply to the eyes there is a huge huge color payoff and shine on the eyes if you are in a rush to get ready this will give a great impact just swipe down the eyes the only drawback is the packaging because the color case is a bit delicate and can be easily damaged so you have to have to keep it in a safe drawer or box and to deepen up the crease a little more i am taking abh single eyeshadow in the shade sangria and i am applying that to my crease to intensify that area and for my brows i'm taking nyx eyebrow powder pencil in the shade dark brown and i'm filling in the gaps or sparse areas first i'm brushing through with the spoolie end and with the pencil side i'm filling in the gaps and then gently removing the excess with the spoolie end again to make it look more natural and soft if you have a naturally thick eyebrows and just need a pencil that isn't heavy this is for you and this is hands down the best pencil for medium shades of brown i have rich chocolatey brown hair and this has a lovely natural look which looks fantastic in pictures and hear me out guys if there's a brow pencil you should get from the drug store let it be this one it's that good and then i am taking dose of colors eye pencil in the shade loyal which is a beautiful rusty brown color and i'm running this along my low water lines because she's definitely wearing a beautiful brown liner in her water lines that makes this look even more natural and beautiful and i think i got this in my boxy chum box and i totally love it that i have purchased few more shades from the same brand and then for mascara i'm taking kush waterproof mascara from milk cosmetics and i'm applying tons of mascara onto my both upper and lower lashes and she has a long thick lashes so i'm using this mascara because the mascara is so lengthening and makes your lashes look long and wide open it isn't drying to my eyes but the tube gets dry if you are not careful and it's kind of hard to remove it as it is extremely long lasting but the thing is it's amazingly lightweight and it is buildable without clumping and i haven't used any false eyelashes for this look i think dakota is also not but if you want you can apply a pair of natural looking falsies and then for blush i'm taking these two pink blushes from maybelline master blush and highlighter palette 
and I'm just applying very lightly onto the apples of my cheeks and blending that towards the cheekbones to lift the cheeks a little more. And her makeup look is all about lips and eyes and kept her face very simple and natural. So I'm using products very carefully and lightly in order to achieve her look. That's why I'm using Beauty Blender more and brushes less because the damp Beauty Blender does all the blending for you. And then for bronzer, I'm taking Maybelline Master Bronze Bronzer in the shade Vacation Bronze and I'm applying this just to warm up the face. And again, I'm not using a lot, but just to warm up the areas I want, making sure my face is not in one color and pale. So I'm applying that to the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead for the sun-kissed look, my jawline to make it look sharp and slightly contouring my nose and lips as well. And then for highlighter, her skin is so goddess-like, not shimmery, not glittery, but lit from within look. So I'm taking my ABH loose highlighter in the shade Snowflake, which is, I think, by far my favorite of all highlighters out there. So first, I sprayed my brush with a DV mist and then I applied the powder onto my skin. This way, you will get a beautiful and natural lit from within look. But if you apply that to the dry skin, it looks all powdery and glittery and looks very unnatural, if that makes sense. So I'm applying this highlighter on to the tops of my cheeks, to the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin area and, in, and to the center of my forehead to attract light and create the perception of depth and angles. And I'm also applying the same highlighter to the brow bones and also in the tear duct area as well as a inner corner highlight. This makes your eyes look more awakened and fresh. And to set everything in place, I'm taking my good old pixie gold mist and I'm giving my face a good spritz of that. This makes all powder melt into your skin and makes your look natural and deviant skin like. And I'm also dabbing away the excess water with my beauty blender. And this makes your skin look even more natural that it seems like you haven't had any of these layers of makeup on your skin. And then I took most of the lip balm off with a muslin cloth for the lipstick to glide on easily. And speaking of the lipstick, I'm taking MAC lipstick in the shade Sin, which is a beautiful burgundy lip color. And I think she's wearing the same lipstick too. It is a beautiful matte color that stays on for ages and I'm just spreading that out with my finger to make it look soft. And then I'm taking NYX Candy Slick Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cherry Cola, I believe it's called. And I'm just applying this onto my lips on top of the Sin lipstick. I don't know why I applied this, but it's totally optional. I just use this to add some moisture to my lips as mine are slightly dry today. And this, you guys, is the finished and completed Dakota Johnson's inspired makeup look with a bit of color and glitter, which is totally appropriate for this party season and wedding and festive seasons. So thank you so, so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching my video. Please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And the button is just right here on the screen. And also like this video if you do. And I'll see you guys very, very soon in my next one. Bye.